Hello world folks, good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of world news and analysis. Before I move on to any further details, I'd really love to thank you all for your enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed yet, I mean, what are you waiting for guys? Hit that subscribe button now and don't forget to press that bell icon. Prince George will be a focus of the King's upcoming coronation as part of the palace's efforts to draw attention to the immediate line of succession, royal expert has claimed. Dr. Tessa Dunlop appears in the latest episode of the Daily Mail's Palace Confidential series alongside diary editor Richard Eden. During the 30-minute program, the experts spoke to host Joe Elvin about King Charles's coronation in May and what roles the wider royal family will play. Although Dr. Dunlop said that working members of the firm are expected to appear in the procession, the expert claimed the emphasis will be on King Charles, Prince William, and Prince George in Westminster Abbey. She explained they want to keep it focused on the line of succession. So we're going to see a lot of camera shots of Charles, William, and George. Dr. Dunlop then referenced the Queen's coronation in June 1953, where the heir was placed in the spotlight. For the occasion, King Charles, who was five at the time, was seated between the Queen Mother and his aunt Princess Margaret in order to make him as visible as possible. Describing how the coronation is all about King Charles, Richard Eden added, we will see other working members of the royal family take prominent roles. We'll see them in procession to Westminster Abbey. They won't be taking part in the ceremony as such, but you see a program of events around the country involving all working royals. So that all different parts of the UK feel the part of coronation, of course. We'll see them on the Buckingham Palace balcony, where it will be all working royals together. King Charles is understood to want his coronation to set the tone for a streamlined and modern monarchy, while retaining some of the pomp and majesty that stunned the world during the Queen's lying in state and funeral ceremonies. The historic ceremony on May 6th will begin with Camilla's crowning before Charles is officially named as the monarch when the St. Edward crown is placed on his head by the Archbishop of Canterbury. The procession will then lead the newly crowned king past thousands of people to Buckingham Palace, where he'll join the members of his family on the balcony to wave at the crowd. The next day, Windsor Castle is set to host a concert broadcast around the world with thousands of street parties in the afternoon as people. This will be followed by a bank holiday on Monday with millions of people set to get a day off work. Dr. Dunlop's comments about Prince George's role in the coronation come amid weeks of mounting speculation about whether Prince Harry and Meghan will attend. Friends of the couple said this week they're in limbo, considering the million different variables impacting their decision. Harry wants to be by his father's side pretty much on the most important day, and hopes to salvage his strained relationship with the royal family, sources close to the Duke told the Daily Telegraph. The insiders claim it's a complicated decision because a couple may be accused of snubbing the family by not attending, but also risk being booed or labeled hypocrites. The couple's friends say they'll not make the decision about attending the coronation until a formal invitation arrives at their home in California. They will then decide if they want to go to the historic event or if Harry, 38, would attend without Meghan. It's also possible that neither makes the appearance. If either Harry and Meghan, 41, visit the UK in the ceremony, it's understood that their visit would be brief. A source close to the couple revealed last week if Harry attends the coronation, he'll want a meeting with the king and Prince William before he leaves to the U.S. The Sussexes are expected to be invited to the coronation on May 6, despite the fall from Harry's explosive memoir, Spare, released last month. If they choose to travel from their home in Montecito, California, to attend the event at Westminster Abbey, they will do so as normal congregation members. Some royal family members were reported to be splitting feathers over claims in Harry's book and his media campaign to promote it according to royal sources. Harry has not spoken to the king or William about whether he'll attend. With the invitations sent out imminently, Amir reported. But he is reported to want a meeting with his father and brother before he travels to the UK. A source told the newspaper Harry has been very clear and his position hasn't wavered. He isn't going to come if he feels the atmosphere will be as toxic as it was during the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. He said he wants to reconcile with his family and it's their call. But so far nothing's changed. It's understood that those who want to attend the coronation will need to RSVP to the invitation at the start of April. So do you guys think about this news? Do you think the Sussexes will be invited to the coronation at all? And if they are, do you think George, Charlotte, and Louis can steal the spotlight from the Sussexes in the coronation? Write it in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my sizzling roll updates like this, subscribe and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, hasta la vista.